Homer now three outs away. 99 pitches thrown by Homer Bailey. Pinch hitter is Brock Holt. He bats for Barajas. The Pirates also then have Josh Harrison, another pinch hitter on deck. There's Heisey. He's taken over for Frazier out in left field. Quickly, two strikes on Brock Holt. He's hitting 306 in 20 games with this club with three RBIs. He was primarily the man that was filling in for Neil Walker at second base when Walker was out. Boy, Homer with a nice, easy delivery tonight. The ball coming out of his hand. Just so sweet. I mean, he is getting that fastball up and into left handers in a perfect spot nearly every time he wants to go up there. It's going right where he wants it. Got him on strikes. That now ties the career high for Homer Bailey with 10 strikeouts. Now, this was just a blue by you at bat for Brock Holt. Fastballs up in the zone, four of them before he finally is able to get him out and coming up empty, just like all the rest of his Pirates teammates tonight. Now Josh Harrison has announced. I check that. Michael McHenry. Michael McHenry announces the pinch hitter for Tony Watson. McHenry hitting 243 with a dozen home runs, 39 runs batted in. Drum on both fronts going on here in this game. Not only what Homer Bailey is doing out there, having not given up a hit, but a one-nothing game in favor of the Reds. Well, that's what makes it extra special for Homer. Out of play. Well, he's not trying to fool these guys who are just coming fresh off the bench. It's good old Powder River fastball here for Homer Bailey in the ninth inning. What well, a big key for Homer right here, and I've never been there in the ninth inning or in a no hitter, but I imagine the big key for him would be just to try to to breathe and keep it as normal as you can. Think about each pitch as you make it. Strike two. Two strikes. Alex Presley, representing the top of the pirate order, waits on deck. Henry takes a nice cut, doesn't he? He's, you know, he's got a good swing, but he's a very good fastball hitter. He's not a tall guy. He's a short guy with fairly short arms. Those are normally the type of hitters that it's hard to get the ball in on. It's hard to throw it by him upstairs. But Homer's had no problem all night. He came in head high and knocked McHenry down. He evens the count of two balls and two strikes. And I might want to pull that slider out about next pitch. Well, this look from him, McHenry's standpoint is going right at the old dome. Did not run in on him. It simply was on the inner inner part of the plate. Pirates have had but two base runners all night. Now Bailey will throw a 3-2 pitch to McHenry with one out. Yeah, didn't want to make a mistake with that slider right there. I think he feels with the adrenaline that he has going, that fastball is all he needs.
Him at him with a fastball and a foul ball back. Pirates have not been no hit since Bob Gibson did it to them back in 1971. Of course, that was not at this ballpark. Great nugget right there, Jim Kelch. Again with a fastball. And this one is behind the shortstop. Giving way to Heisey is Cozart. Heisey handles it. Two pinch hitters disposed of. Two men out for Alex Presley. Reds haven't had a no hitter since Mr. Perfect Tom Browning threw the perfect game against the Dodgers on the 16th of September 1988. Go back 10 more years since the last right hander threw a no hitter Tom Seaver at 78. Well, that no hitter slash perfect game by Browning was a Friday night in September. A rainy Friday night wasn't it. Yeah. Two men out nobody on. Presley in the game 0 for 3. One of the hard hit balls that they've had tonight off his back. One hundred twelve pitches for Homer Bailey as he works here to Presley with two men out. And the ball on a strike. In the long history of Cincinnati Reds baseball to throw a no hitter. He does it here tonight on this September the 28th, 2012, here at PNC Park in Pittsburgh in his 110th career start. PNC Park has always been good to him, Chris Welsh, and he proves it again here tonight. Well, never better than it has been tonight on this September the 28th, 2012, Homer Bailey. Comes in and makes a one run score by the Red stand up. Makes himself the first no hitter since 1988. And Tom Brown did it against the Dodgers. And he is congratulated by his teammates. What a great night for Homer Bailey and the entire Reds organization. He throws 115 pitches on the night, allowed two base runners, the error in the third inning, and the walk in the seventh inning. He retires. The last seven he faces, and Homer Bailey, the 26 year old Texan out of LaGrange, Texas, the former number one pick by the Reds back in 2004, throws a no hitter tonight against the Pittsburgh Pirates. Again, becoming the 15th pitcher in Reds history to do so, the 16th no hitter in franchise history, the last by Tom Browning was the perfect game, and the last one by a right hander. Tom Seaver on the 16th of June 1978 
against St. Louis. One run, seven hits, one error for the Reds. Zeros across for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Boy, that's quite a quite an accomplishment by that well, young man. Does it get any better for a starting pitcher? I don't think so. He's congratulated by all of his teammates down in the field. There's Rob Butcher leading him over to the end, and I believe Jim Day is going to be able to talk with the the man who throws the no hitter here tonight as the Reds win their 95th game of the year. Let's go downstairs to Jim Day. Jim. All right, Jim. Thank you very much. The uh, man of the night, Homer Bailey. Every pitcher dreams of this moment. What are your emotions? Um, you know, it's really surreal. You can't believe it's happening. And I think in every special game like this, uh, you gotta have to tip your hat to the other team. You know, me and AJ have gone back and forth probably four or five times this year. Uh, we've had some really battles together. So, first of all, my hat's off to AJ. He pitched a hell of a game. Uh, the secondly, Ryan Hannigan behind the plate uh, tonight was cold, and we just really didn't have our best stuff. But somehow we were able to go out there and manage to make really good pitches. And just like it's been all year, my defense has just covered my back unbelievably. They're they're really the best in the game at you know making a pitcher look good. What was it like in the ninth inning? Uh, adrenaline is always pumping out there. But was it extra? Was the heart pumping extra out there? It was, and you know you can see it with some of the balls that rose up out of the zone, trying to put a little extra on there. I just I would just back off and just say you know just make this pitch because it could be a ground ball you know they can't they can't do anything with a ball out of the zone but trying to get a pop out or a ground ball and uh, just one pitch at a time. What do you do during the game. I mean you get into the sixth seventh inning you know they have no hits. Uh, what's going through your mind. What was your mind process. How did you handle it. Uh, you know what I, I just I just kept trying to put up zeros because you know seeing as how AJ's done really well against us all year and. and you know we're trying to get the best record in the National League and that was my whole thought process was trying to keep my team in the game and put up zero since we had one run. Well you are certainly the star of the Lone Star State tonight. There might be some back home watching. Uh, you've got to be happy just to tell them to talk to them to your family later on. Absolutely. You know I definitely look forward to talking to them later. Uh, you know I talk to them just about every day. So I guess I've got some good news for them. Over Bailey it was my pleasure to watch you tonight. Congratulations from all of Red's country. Thanks Jim.